students welcome to my class that is chemistry gurukul here you will learn the topics which has been given you in your ncert books and i hope you will enjoy as you have enjoyed my live classes so in today's video we will cover the chapter 2 of class 10 that is acids bases and salts so let's start our topic as you are watching here it's acid bases and salts in this video we will just talk about acids and bases salts we will talk about in later video okay so as we have learned in our previous classes that acids are those substances which are sour in taste bases are those substances which are bitter in taste in our day to day life we can take some examples like lemon it is sour in taste it has certain acids in it and the name of acid also you might be knowing because you have learned in your previous classes okay it is citric acid likely in tamarind it is tartaric acid so children acids are generally categorized or you can say it has been derived from two sources one is natural and another one is means natural in the sense those acids are also known as inorganic acids and those they are there are some organic acids also okay so inorganic acids they are derived from inorganic sources organic acids which are present in organic substances understood so all these things you have studied in your previous classes now when we talk about bases bases are bitter in taste now some examples are like in our household we used to take baking soda okay washing soda all these are the examples of bases they have soapy touch also so all these basic concepts you have studied in your previous classes now a thing which comes in our mind is how we can detect the presence of acids and bases we can detect the presence of acids and bases by the help of indicators by the help of indicators now what are indicators question arises in our mind what are indicators so we can write the definition you can also write in your notebooks the definition of indicators these are the substances these are the substances which can be used to indicate indicate the presence of indicate the presence of an acid or base acid or base in a solution by changing its color by changing its color understood so by changing the color you can identify which substance is acid which substance is base when we talk about indicators now indicators are also further divided into two different ways first is natural and another one is synthetic i just two two ways natural and synthetic now natural indicators you must be knowing or heard about litmus paper have you heard about litmus paper okay most of you might be knowing about litmus paper now what is the source of litmus paper why i have included it in natural sources because it is derived from lichens 
it is derived from lichens now what are lichens you must be knowing lichens are biological organisms which are the symbiotic association of algae and fungi when they are combinedly attached to each other means they are dependent on each other they form lichens and lichens they are used for the preparation of litmus paper and litmus paper is used as a natural indicators in our laboratories okay to further studies for further studies so students for today this much of content is uh, enough for you in this video next about synthetic indicators we will discuss in our next video i hope you have understood this much of topic and finally i will conclude for your uh, knowledge that this topic is very important as per your exams concerned because most of the questions are being asked from this chapter so focus on this topics whenever i am giving you such videos always note down those things which i am giving you all the best